Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. And last time we came here to the Deimos Star Yards to have our interview to become an assistant. We've had so many jobs in this game, it, 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 it's getting out of hand. But, never mind. Let's get into it. Shoop. Aha. Well, Andreja, she doesn't approve of this, by the way. Me getting this job. She seems to think it's ridiculous, but that's fine. So, over here? Okay. Uh, I wish Deimos was excused. Deimos and the UC are inexorably tied together. All right. If one fails, the other does. I might not mind seeing that. Ah. All right, Andreja. Okay, so, um, job posting. Executive assistant. Seeking a highly motivated individual to assist the executive in charge of mining operations in day-to-day -day responsibilities. Prior executive assistance experience preferred, but not necessary. Must be willing to relocate to Sidonia. Internship is unpaid, with option for permanent role at the end of contract. Duties and responsibilities. Oh, here we go. Providing administrative assistance, which may include drafting and editing communications on the executive's behalf and keeping memos. Managing the executive's daily calendar. Organising meetings and appointments. Performing minor accounting. Required skills and qualifications. Strong interpersonal skills, written and verbal communication skills. Time management and organisational skills, ability to proactively solve problems and make decisions in the interest of the executive, ability to multitask. All right. How many years experience do you have as an executive, administrative or corporate assistant? Well, yeah, zero. What is the highest level of education you've completed? I don't actually know what Eve's highest level of education is. Let's just go secondary school because, yeah, all right. You will now be asked a series of questions to help us assess your competence for this role. Please answer honestly to the best of your ability. The executive wants you to bring them a whiskey neat. What does this mean? Trick question. Executives aren't allowed to drink on the job. About 43 milliliter shot of whiskey served in a glass at room temp. A glass full of whiskey with two chilled whiskey stones. Two, thim two thimbles of whiskey. Two drops of water in a chilled glass. Um, I think it's just whiskey. Whiskey neat. Although I'd say they're not really allowed to drink on the job, but yeah, all right. A VIP arrives at the office for a meeting with the executive, who is inexplicably running late. What should you do? Entertain the client with jokes until the executive arrives. Reschedule the client's meeting with the exec for another time. Offer drinks, apologise, assure that the exec will return soon. Nothing. Never speak with the client without the exec approval. Um. I mean, me personally, I'm going to go off my thing. I'd, you know, I'd offer them a drink, you know, I'd say, would you like a, you know, coffee, a tea, something like that. I'm sorry that they're, they're just ever so slightly late. They'll be here soon, yeah. A malfunction prevents the executive starship from starting up and they need to go to an important off-world meeting soon. What course of action do you take? Uh, offer them to use your old banged up shit, contact the client and cancel the meeting, reschedule for another day, use the company credits to immediately charge an expensive luxury craft. Get their ship towed to the shop. It's okay if they're late. Um, I mean, me personally, they need to get there, don't they? So, but they'll probably want that. Oh, screw it. There you go. While handling the executive's email, you come across a message from someone claiming to have damaging information about the executive. What should you do? Take the info to the board of directors so they can handle it, ignore the email completely and block the sender, sender confront the exec and blackmail them with hopes of getting a bigger raise, ask the executive how they want it handle, handled, then never speak of it again. Yeah, that's the one. The executive contacts you and asks you to see them in their office in the middle of the night. You can tell they're drunk. What do you do? Immediately go to their office and take care of them until they sober up. Ignore them and go back to sleep. The executive probably won't remember. Contact security and let them deal with it. Go and do whatever they want, even if it would damage their character. Do you know what? Yeah, I'll just yeah look after them until they sober up. Please be aware that all answers are final and will be reviewed when considering your application. If you would like to change your answers now, please select the option to start over. Otherwise, submit application. Blow it. There you go. Evie, thank you for your interest in Davos and for submitting your application. We will review your skills and experience and let you know if we feel you're a good match for the position. We appreciate you choosing Davos. All right, sales terminal. Oh, this is so you can work for them, isn't it? Well, we don't want to do any of that. Well, not delivering anyway. We only want this job to help out the miners, to be honest. So, what do we have to do? We have to go away now. Oh, we have to speak with Trevor again. Well, let's have a little note. Did we come here? No, we didn't, did we? Because we only Nor just discovered it last time. Hmm. 
Hmm, that might be better. Sorry, I've just um, I've just turned off motion blur because I believe it doesn't really show up that well on uh, on videos. It makes them look a little bit garbage. So hopefully you that will honoured to step foot in here. That will make things a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I was watching um, a Gopher video the other day because I love Gopher. He's one of my favourite YouTubers, and, um, and we never will. I don't think he ever has motion blur on, or if he does, he has it low. So, well, we're going to try it. He is a pro after all, so you know, and he is a pro, absolute pro. Love Gopher to bits. I think, I think I've been a subscriber, not on this channel, on my own personal channel for pff, at least 10 years now. It's been a long time. Well, there's nothing really of any interest here, so... Ooh, what's this? What's this? Can we can we see this? Is this going to have more of these stupid announcements? Yeah. Yeah. Not really interested interested in the stupid announcements. What's this? Fullerton Review. Follow-up. What's this? I followed up on your testimonials and I must say they were impressive and persuasive. Although your penchant for frankness has been on your last three reviews, well, I'm going to follow up with sales and marketing. It may be an uphill battle, and your point that the on-the-ground engineers can smell dishonesty may be correct. Certainly, our upsells and acquisition rate has climbed significantly since you joined us. For now, try to rein it in a little. I promise I'll get a definitive answer before the next review cycle commences, but don't worry about job security. You're an integral part of Deimos. Huh. Who is Fullerton? Who is Fullerton, I wonder? Ooh. Anniversary of Catamine Hills. What is Catamine Hills? Can you believe it's been ten years since Catamine Hills? I went to the cemetery and put flowers on Dante's grave. We lost so many, and do they remember? It barely made the news when it happened. I know you claim you're happy with Deimos, but our unit can really use you. Mercenary work may be tough on your code, but the pay and benefits are better than anything Deimos can offer. And after doing it for years, I firmly believe that the UC and Freestar are both self-interested puppets for rich interests. It's never been about the grunt, the pilots, or the common Joe. That's just lies they tell to get fools to keep dying f to help their bottom lines. Please, it's almost like the old units back together. We're, we're your real family, and we miss our XO. At least reply this time. Interesting. 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 So somebody was a... Well done. You said it. Well, all right. Well, not particularly exciting, but okay. Let's um, let's go and speak to Trev. Captain, Trev. It is pleasant to see you. Same, Vasco. Same, mate. All right. All right, Trevor. I don't know whether I got the job. I'm sure it is. All right. Did we did we get the job? Did we pass muster? I wonder. Uh, okay, this way. Trev. Oh God. Okay. We. Okay. I did this last time, didn't I? There. We go. Don't worry. We're gonna make sure you get that job. All right. Trust me. This is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. Um. So. I filled out the executive assistant application. Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. All right. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. Oh, easy. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in Um. Yeah, how do I get access to it? I happen to know that the HR director, Tia, and the other women in the office tend to go to the Broken Spear for happy hour at five every evening. Oh. That's your window of opportunity. Cool. All right. Well, it sounds easy enough. That's the spirit? Believe me, this is going to help everyone. I hope way, it is. The HR password oh. is password spelled backwards, which wow. Tia thinks is pretty clever. She gets talkative during happy hour and loud. All right. Surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway. Should be pretty easy. Good luck. Okay. Well, what time is it now? Oh, look at that. Five o'clock. Oh, wait. No. No. Local time. It's 3.02. Uh, 1.02, sorry. 3.02. Do you know, honestly. Military time. i losing my mind. Hey. Alright, 
Should we? Hmm. All right. Well, hopefully the Deimos Star Yard should be Star Yard office. Excuse me. Should be uh, fairly quiet now, so we can have a have a peep in there. I've warmed up to Mars. Oh yeah, there you go. They're all they're all out. Hello. Who are you? All right. Can we? Can we? Yep. Here we go. Messages. Let's have a read first. Okay. Uh, mining equipment. I know this isn't the right place to bring this up, but I can't seem to get a response from Peter. Our tools are falling apart and we really need new ones. Can you ping him, maybe? Throw a wad of paper at him to get his attention? Something? He's an executive for crying out loud. I know he's someone's rich son, but this is getting ridiculous, Trevor. Alright. Company reminder. Due to new regulations in the United Colonies market, all new ships from January the 1st, 2331 onward will require coolant pumps grade E or above. We should be compliant as of last year. But please triple check all coolant pump purchases and installations so we can continue to bring our products to all citizens in the settled systems. Search. Where to find good whiskey? Hmm. Okay, he's at it again. Peter seems to think that the messaging program is some sort of search function again. At least he's using the computer, I guess. Gilly. There you go. So he, Peter, really is useless. Okay. Job apps. That's, uh, okay. Five to nine years experience. Some along question four. Okay. Well... Okay, uh Candidate with more experience, keep on final, okay. I'd love to know what they've said about me. I'm gonna have to have a look actually. Let's have a look. EV, experience none. Secondary school. Top candidate. Strongly recommend extending an offer to this candidate for the position quickly before they go somewhere else. Bloody hell. I didn't think I was that good. Guess I am. Ten years. Uh, they might be overqualified. Yeah, with the PhD, bloody hell. Okay. All right. Well, so who are you? Are you the the boss man? Sometimes I feel like these mines just run themselves. I like to think that's thanks to me. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So let's speak to Trev. Trev. Ah, Trev. Ah, Trev. Oh God. Now I'm stuck in the ceiling. God bless it. Yeah. Don't worry. We're gonna make it. trust me. This I did is it. The best shot we've got at getting that request approved. I did it. I made sure I was the only applicant. And I can say that I've got some good news for you. I got the job, didn't I? I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready for the next, next step. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. Okay. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Cool! Then, we can get that new equipment, and show corporate how it's done. Alright. Alright. Well, let's go. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go and report for work. Andreja, sorry, you've just legged it all the way down here, and now we're going all the way back up. Good grief. Go to Mars, they said. So is the crippling depression. Jeez Louise, that's a little bit serious, isn't it? Hey dude, I'm your new assistant. Oh, you, you're finally back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? I mean... Um... I think you're mistaking me for your previous assistant, yeah. Hmm. What happened to the old one? You know what? Never mind. They told me you were a strong candidate for this job. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how well you do. Alright. Well enough, chit chat. Let's get to work. Um. Yeah? Not quite. 
I need you to do something much more important before you get to that. All right, what I'm is it? I'm expecting a personal shipment. Oh, really? I'm not sure why, but the last time this happened, my assistant ended up speaking to Governor Hurst about it. Oh. Now, run off and get it for me. Uh, yeah, what, uh... No, actually, what's in the shipment? What's in the shipment? A good assistant knows it's not their place to ask. Bad assistants get fired. All right, chill out. Mediocre up. assistants get... You know what? I forgot where I was going with this, but it doesn't matter. Just get it for me, will you? Also, I don't quite remember. But it is important, that I know. You are very rude, actually. Um, Yeah, what happened to your last assistant? I don't know. At first I thought I had multiple assistants that rotated in and out, but... Uh, it seems I've only ever had one at a time, and they all just stopped showing up. Mm. I believe my last assistant was supposed to get me some coffee, but never came back. I honestly wasn't listening to whatever they were crying about. Oh, so you're one of those sorts of people, are you? Well, okay, let's, um, so we need to go in here. Around here. Hey, dude. I tell you. Sidonia's a great place to open up a business. We've really been booming lately. Despite what the news media's been reporting. I'm s I'd am love to chat more, but I'm expecting a message any minute from the Trade Authority. You know how it is with these big businesses, am I right? Yeah, well, uh, I'm here on behalf of Peter Brennan. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? Uh. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You can drop the act with me. It sounds as though you have been spying on us, Governor. Mm. Not exactly spying. Word gets around and I'm one to listen when it does. I like to know what goes on in my city. Really? So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. Oh, God. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to, but I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? Um, I'm looking for Mr. Brennan's personal shipment. He said you might know what happened to it. In fact, how do you know so much about me? Yeah, you you have been spying on us, aren't you, mate? You Word travels fast around Sidonia. It's my business to know these things. Is it? Frankly, I'm not worried about you. As long as you play your cards right, it'll stay that way. Hmm... Yes, I'm looking for his personal shipment. He said you might know what happened to it. Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense <gasps> backlog of unpaid taxes. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first, since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See... My personal spacecraft was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it. Then I need that someone to destroy it. Discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Hmm. Hmm. Why is it important I destroy the ship? Well, this is a tricky situation indeed. Mm. Not to get bogged down in details, but assuming this is the work of pirates, it's best to destroy the ship and everybody on board. Is it? Makes it cleaner for insurance purposes. I'm going to get on that ship. Somehow. Hopefully I can do. Yeah, fine, I'll do it. And we have an agreement. Alright. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. The plot thickens, Andreja. Umbriel. Okay, so this is hey, his Brian. ship. Don't mean to bother you, but I could really use some help here. Hey, it is good to see someone out here. I've been drifting alone here for two days without help. Okay. Um, don't worry. I know the situation. I'm on the account. Ah, uh, I haven't seen your ship in this sector before. Must be a rule, whatever. As long as we've got extra ship parts to help with repairs, you're free to come aboard. Then I think we will indeed come aboard. I want to know what the dealio is with this ship. 
What's on here? What is it that's on here? Why does he want us to destroy it so badly? Welcome aboard. Okay. As you can see, we are in a real bind here. But I think we can both help each other out. All right. If you can spare some sheep pods to help us make repairs, we've got something you can use to blackmail this ship's owner, one governor Earth of Sidonia. Seems like that could be valuable to a rook captain like you, still trying to prove yourself. Hmm. Uh, yeah, what's this blackmail you're talking about? Her sent us a note, through broker, of course. He wanted us to clean up any signs of his affair. Oh! And destroy his ship for insurance purposes. Yeah, he has the audacity to call us criminals. Anyway, we have a note from him. The public would love to know about it. I'm sure you could present it to him and get whatever you wanted. Interesting, very interesting. Um, if I lie, will they kick me off? Let's try it. That's a real shame, Rook. Was hoping you'd be able to help us out of a jam. Seems I'll be keeping this tasty blackmail for myself then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I did say you're welcome. As long as you have ship parts, you don't. So you might want to move along before we decide to take what we can get from your ship and leave you stranded. All right. Well, I'm going to be hunting around, just so you know. Because I'm curious. I mean, it's... Yeah. It's a nice little ship. You've just knocked that cushion off, by the way. All right. I will be, um... Leaving shortly. I'm just... just curiosity, you know. Curiosity and all that jazz. Go on my ship and you'll get your head kicked in. That's all I'm going to say. Um. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe we got paid by that sucker hearse. And got to keep his ship. Yeah. We're lucky you're one of us and not some shark. Yeah, you are. Can I... Ooh. I'll just take it all. Screw it. So... More evidence? Maybe down in here. Whee! We're lucky you're one of us and not some shark. Yeah, yeah. I know. Nothing in the storage box. The hell? Alright. Uh, I mean it's 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 a nice ship, but So he was having an affair, was he? Okay. Can't believe we got paid by that sucker hearse. And <gasps> keep his ship. Weapon case. Nothing in it. Nothing in it. Nothing in it. Bloody hell. Can we open this? Open the door. Um Dumbbells. Hmm. Can't believe we got paid by that sucker Hurst and got to keep his ship. Yeah, so who's this? Sylvia Schloss. Extra ammunition is all. This is it. Okay, let's let's have a look. Uh notes. Hmm. This is it. Whoever finds this, my name is Sylvia Schloss. I've been drifting with no fuel for over a week now, and with no signs of rescue. To all those I have wronged, I wish I could say I'm sorry, but the truth is, I don't know if that's true. This isn't how I would like, would have liked to have died, but the guilt and the uncertainty have driven me to take my own life. Goodbye. Whoa! Jeez. Alright. Always welcome if they have any. Wow! So, wow! Alright. Is that it? Did we... ah. I mean... Double bone horn. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, well... We 
So we say we're looking for more evidence, but... Have we found the evidence? Oh, apparently we have found the evidence. Oh no, search for more clues. Okay. So we need to keep hunting around for more clues. So we came down here, didn't we? Um... Yo. Time for you to go, isn't it? Um. Want to tell me about the corpse? Yeah. Oh, her? She was dead when we arrived. Self-inflicted. A shame, because we would have offered to release her at the nearest neutral star station. Okay. We may be parrots, but we're not monsters. At least, I'm not. Okay. Um. Offering deals instead of killing doesn't seem like a pirate thing to do. Yeah. He must be a rook. So listen up and learn something. Oh, go on. Here we go. Education. Blunder first, kill second. Some of us don't enjoy the killing part unless there's no other way. True. It can get uh, messy. A clever pirate can get what they want without spilling blood. Call me an enlightened prig. All right. So how did you wind up in this situation? First paid us to take care of his problem. Of course, why destroy a perfectly good ship when we could say we destroyed it and keep the money, right? True. Unfortunately, by the time we found out the ship was broken down, our backup had already jumped, leaving us dead in the water until they figure it out and come back for us. Yeah, you went back on your deal with Hearst, why should I trust you? Just because we pulled the fast one on one of the most powerful men in this system? No offense, my friend. But you small potatoes. I can respect that you're just trying to do a job. And frankly, I like the cut of your jib. All right. Truth is, you've got no reason to trust us. Nor we you. But there is more of us than there are of you. So I'm feeling confident in my decision. Well, all right. Um, so we can't offer them the ship parts now. At all. Well, that's what a little bit of a bummer. Um. Well, hmm. I suppose we could, we could, we could. Maybe. We got it. Yes, yes, yes. We freaking did it, baby. Bam. All right. Well. Enjoy. What does the note say? Can we, can we, can we, can we read it? Um, notes. Ah, message from Hurst. Stolen! I'm asking that you take care of the ship and anyone on board. I don't care how you do it. I just want rid of this problem before someone catches on. If someone finds out that I'm having an affair and that the woman involved ran off with my government issued ship I'm sure you'd understand that it would be very bad for me I'd like to get ahead of that and just chalk it up to simple theft and destruction I repeat the ship must be destroyed or we'll, we shall consider the terms of your payment null and void hmm. interesting very interesting so we have options now we can obviously destroy the ship return to Hurst or I think we could show... Was it show the... Show Hearst now? Hearst's note to CDR Woodard. Who on earth is CDR Woodard? Well, Andreja. Well. We've stumbled upon a mystery here, girl. Well, not really a mystery, but... You know, uh, uh, uh... Okay. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Hella. Hmm. Dodge. Always nice to kick back in the broken Hella dodge. Oh, got caught on something. Yeah. To Mars, they say. The bay is great, they say. Hello. All right, you. Shady beans, man. I sure hope you've taken care of our little uh, problem. It's good to see you. Ah. Uh. Conclude our business together. Hmm. I'm back. Now let's talk about your end of the deal. Did you uh, take care of my little problem? Can I just lie? Hmm. I found your note to the pirate. Seems like it'd be real bad for you if people knew. 
Or should we just lie to him? We could just lie. Yeah, screw it. Good. I'll release Mr. Brennan's shipment to you as promised. I'll even defer his taxes as a little bonus. Yeah. You really helped me out of this bind. Don't take this the wrong way, but I hope I'm never in need of your help like this again. Me too, because I might not be as nice next time. <laughs> okay, can we can we have a look at his package? Um, that sounded a bit weird. Um, can it be in here. Peter Brennan's package. Ah, can't even have a look at it. God bless it, Barbie. All right, Andreja, let's go and deliver this Egypt's parcel. Peter, here you are, mate. Here you go. My shipment. Do you have it yet? Yeah, I do. Yeah, but I had to do some real shady stuff for hers to get it. Also, you owe taxes. Oh, that's nice. Thanks for getting this for me. Now, could you be a pal and get to my computer messages? Oh, they've been piling up while you were gone, and I need you to respond to them for me. Here's my password. Just make sure your replies sound like they're coming from me. I have a reputation to maintain. <laughs> Well, all right. Seeing as you're a you're a a dunderhead, oh, you're done. Yeah, go on. Get out of the way. Okay. Uh, messages. Meeting request, Mr. Brennan. I'm looking forward to meeting you to discuss our potential partnership. I know opportunities to buy Martian ore don't come up very often, so I want you to know, I'm willing to make a very generous offer. But let's discuss in person, shall we? My schedule is flexible, so tell me what works for you. Javier Lindlum. Okay. Psych eval. Peter, your psychological evaluation turned up some interesting stuff. I think it would be good for you to come speak to me sometime so I can make sure you understood the questions properly and you can provide some clarity on your answers. For instance, I think you may have completely misunderstood question number six. I'm not even sure that person works on Mars, let alone for this company. Let's chat a bit and try to resolve this so I can submit a proper evaluation. Thanks, Gilly. Okay. Uh, shipment. Mr. Brennan, I am writing to let you know that you have an outstanding tax balance. As a consequence, we've held up a shipment for you in hopes that it will motivate you to speak with us and come pay off your balance so that we can release it to you. As we value Deimos as a local business, we don't wish to see this escalated any further than it needs to due to a personal matter such as this. Thank you for understanding. Glenhurst, Governor Sidonia. Okay. Hello. Hello, loser. Since I learned that you don't even check your work computer for actual work purposes, I realised I could say anything I want here and you'll never know. Blah. Boogity boogity boo. See, I can just say nonsense if I want and it doesn't matter. But here's some real truth for you. You've got a BO problem. You're lazy and incompetent. You're an entitled trust fund kid who looks into your position because of who you know. But not even that. It's because of who your daddy knows. Yet they can't fire you because it'd be bad for the company for some reason. What a joke. You never even learned my name. I was your assistant for three damn years. It's Tim. It's not even hard to say. It's three letters. Working for you made me so mad. I'm glad I quit. I bet you didn't even notice. Tim O'Shea. Wow, Tim. All right, mate. Requests. PTO policy? Some of us, self-included, have been working here for almost 15 years, but we're still stuck with the standard 10 days off per calendar year. Now, I'm grateful for the employment, but I've heard from some of your buddies back home that they get 15 days PTO once they hit 10 years of service. Any chance we could do the same? Thank you. Wow, really only 15 days paid time off? Is that, like, a standard thing in certain, like, I know this is probably based upon US working policy? Because we get, like, I get 25 plus bank holidays here. Good God. Okay, we're approving that. Uh, replacement mining equipment drink selection. Drink selection. I just want the company to offer some different drink options for the break area. Thanks. Fine. Messages. I've gotten word from the other executives that you haven't been replying to your messages in a timely manner. I'm writing this request in hopes that you or your assistant, when we hire one, might see it here and get on that. Approve. 
We're just approving everything today, and finally the mining equipment. Our current mining equipment is woefully insufficient to yield results matching our quotas. It's older than most of our miners. Our tools break down, they jam, and a lot of time is wasted on fixing them to operate operable condition. As you can see, we've been able to just barely match our current quotas as the conditions you set, which should help to make the difference in initial cost for the requests. But if we had upgraded equipment, we'd be able to increase our mining yields by at least an additional 75%, which would increase our overall profits. And approve. And there you have it. Everybody gets what they want. Everybody gets what they want. Is this, is it like approve them all? Oh yeah, it's done it. It's done it. Well, hey. Well, Peter, it's been a pleasure, but I quit. Bye. <laughs> Bye, girl. I'm out. Out in a boat. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. That's the only problem with, with, with the boost. You can't just sort of regulate how much boost you want to use. I hope I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. Who is Hank? I wonder what's taking Hank so long. Um... Who's Hank? Yeah. I'm back. I managed to approve your request. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. Mm -hmm. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. What's that? One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted. And he was already on his way out before I could stop him. Oh dear. But... <sighs> It shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. Uh, what do you think happened? I don't know. Maybe he got hit by pirates. Maybe he's out of fuel, drifting. Maybe he just stopped for chunks. Anyway, something's up and it doesn't seem good. Okay. Since you've proven yourself so skilled in so many ways, I was hoping to call on you for it. So, you in? And why did you... Well, he didn't let him go, did he? Yeah, fine. Oh, thanks. This is a huge help. You'll be happy to know I actually carved out some of the budget so I can pay you for all of your assistance. Well, thank God. We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia Ship Services over at the Starport first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck. Well, brilliant. Let's go and speak to ship services. Good God. <sighs> I'm just a bloody gopher in this in this in this place. The United Colonies Department of Labor would like to remind you that working too much overtime is harmful to your health. Yeah, well. And any injuries or mistakes you incur while suffering the effects of overwork or exhaustion. Can also harm your company's bottom line. Oh, very nice. Hello? Hey, what can I do for you? Anything I can help you with? Um, I'm looking for information on Hank Ferrero. I was told he passed through here. Hmm, let's see here. Hank, Hank, known by that name. Oh. Oh, wait, here we go. Henry, Henry Ferrero. Hank's gotta be his nickname. <laughs> Yeah, he's been through here. Took a ship and departed. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently. But he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside the city a ways. Um. Hmm. Why would he avoid landing at port? I've been doing this job for years, and I can't think of many reasons someone would come in for landing, but divert somewhere else. I've seen people try to offload some sort of contraband that way, but usually they don't do a flyby of the port before doing so. And scans would have picked it up, so I don't know. Hmm. You're gonna have to ask him yourself, if you manage to track him down, that is. Do you have any other information? Did he say anything when he departed? Nothing out of the ordinary. Got a ship and left. Oh. Tried and failed to get a discount on fueling up. That's about it. Thanks, so I'll go back to Trevor with the info and get to the bottom of it. Yeah, something seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, good luck and good day to you. Cheers, dude. Well, there you go, folks. We need to speak to Trevor again and find out just exactly what the hell is going on. <sighs> so, 
we are going to leave it there. And until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.